Welcome. This is Dendrobium aggregatum. It is also known as Dendrobium lindley. It is in bloom and it has been in bloom for about 10 days right now. At first, the flowers of this spike have opened and then these ones. At the beginning, they were very light colored they were just like a like a lemon that is not ripe yet and here they are like scrambled eggs the color of 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 egg yolk very very pretty i right now the plant is outside but uh, i keep it indoors i might take it outside when it's very warm during the summer time but i'm not sure yet until now i was keeping it at home throughout the year but uh, maybe if i take it outside during the growth uh, period maybe when it's uh, subjected to more light it will grow better and maybe the flower spikes will be bigger next year uh, I'm not sure what I will do because when I look at the internet and I see Dendrobium aggregatum sometimes these spikes are just hanging down and there are dozens of flowers on them and here there are only five of one and uh, three on the other spike so it's not it's not that many it's not very 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 spectacular uh, but at the same time I'm quite happy it has flowers at all because I know that people have problems with with um, having these orchids bloom so my secret to it or maybe it's not a secret but my recipe for 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 the bloom is to keep the plant dry during the rest season as you can see the plant has uh, leaves that are quite leathery they are very very um, thick and they are not flexible at all and the leaves grow from a pseudobulb and that suggests that the plant needs to go through a rest period through a dry period so i keep the plant completely dry without even a drop of water from about october till mid-march and I start watering only when I see that the flower spikes are forming. When I see a flower spike going from a pseudobulb, then this is when I start watering the plant in the, uh, in the springtime. And it's, it's usually mid-March. It's around mid-March when the fl first flower spikes are appearing. So these flowers will be open for about three weeks. So I have a week and a half more of, uh, of this beauty to enjoy. And then the flowers will fade and then new pseudobulbs will form and the new flowers will grow from the pseudobulbs that will form this year. However, not every Pseudobulb, not every, not every stem will uh, produce a spike. Who knows, maybe I will be more lucky next year and I will have more flowers, I really hope. I do fertilize the plant. I use a balance fertilizer 2020. I use only half of the strength of the recommended strength but i do water it but when i do water it i water it with uh, this fertilizer almost every time i water it once a week during the growth season i submerge the plant into that solution into the water for about 20 minutes and uh, that's once a week and then sometimes when it's really, really hot and with, when it's really, really dry, I water the plant. I spray the plant with water uh, in between the waterings. And as I said, during the uh, rest period, I don't water the plant at all. This plant is quite old, but it started growing much better after the original pot in which it was planted fell 
and accidentally broke. So instead of transplanting it completely, I didn't want to damage the roots. I just put this pot into a new pot. And I think this uh, provided the roots with a little bit more moisture because the roots were attached to this uh, clay pot on the inside and that's why I didn't remove it. And so now there is a layer of air between the two pots and that's where the moisture, the moist air is um, uh, kept and there is a little bit more um, uh, air circulation between the roots because of that as well. So that was a very good thing that happened. It was uh, not done intentionally, but, but it was a very good thing that happened. Okay, so this is about everything I would like to tell you about my dendrobium aggregatum. I quite, I'm quite proud of it because uh, uh, it's one of the only two orchids that grow really nicely for me. The other one is Dendrobium aphyllum or Dendrobium purarity. And you're welcome to, to uh, look at my Dendrobium uh, purarity on my channel as well. I made, I made three videos about it altogether. And also this plant, I made a video about it last year. So you can compare last year's bloom to this year's bloom. Thank you so very much for watching my video. Have a great day.